riding a motorcycle at over 250 kilometres an hour is the most awesome, adrenaline rushed, uh, exciting uh, thing to do. My goal is to become the world's fastest blind man on a motorcycle. That's the goal. The record is held by Billy Baxter of the UK. He set that in um, 2003 at 265.33 kilometres per hour. Uh, we've broken the record several times unofficially, uh, but we actually haven't done it officially yet, so we are keen to get out there and smash that record. Start again, just lift the GoPro's on. Sit on the front. No pressure, relax the hands. Well, when I, was, when I was a kid, my dream was to race motorcycles at the highest level. You know, I had a motorbike accident. I was diagnosed with a Jujoni bike condition called retinitis pigmentosa. When you're told that you're going to go blind and um, uh, you don't know when. And I knew that I was going to go blind one day. And, you know, when I was out racing motorcycles, I thought, you know, I love racing bikes and if I um, had an accident and died, I thought, well, you know, that's, that was, I wasn't scared about that. I hit the lowest point of my life and, um, you know, you, you contemplate um, thoughts of suicide and all the rest of it, um, you know, because I had no idea what it was like to be blind or how to live being blind. Thank God I had uh, a loving and very supportive family who have always been around me. And I guess it was through sport gave me uh, more hope and opportunities. And, and I thought, well, what was your dream? So I googled blind land speed record and bingo, and that's when I discovered that there's a Guinness World Record. So to have someone um, like Kevin McGee, his knowledge, his expertise, where I thought was a crucial part of what I was doing, now he's actually my navigator, which is the toughest gig of all. I've got the easy bit. I just have to follow orders, all right, and sit on the bike and, and ride, which comes naturally. Magoo, he's riding two bikes at once. It's frightening um, because, you know, you know he can't see a thing. He's got the throttle, he's got the steering, he's got everything, and you've got to make the calls and you've got to make them calls right. So anyway, we all get on our bikes and, and all the radio equipment set up, and we're riding in the track and McGoo's going, you know, go, go straight, straight, yeah, go, go. And he's, anyway, he's giving me these, and as we get up towards the end of the main straight, McGoo's going, left, left. So I'm turned left, right? And he goes, left. So I turn harder left, ran off the track, into the dirt, into the grass, locked it all up, and McGoo comes running over. He goes, oh, sorry, I meant right. And then Magoo was like sweating, you know, and he's so nervous. And he goes, oh, Ben, I'm not, I'm not sure whether I can do this. I've got one back on him because he did that to me once when I was calling right, right, right. He was going left, 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 so. So that relationship and that bond uh, that Magoo and I have developed over time, um, you know, is pretty special. And, um, you know, Magoo's a legend, um, not just because of his racing career, um, but I reckon he's a legend because, you know, he's become my best mate. And for a man to give so much of his time, his effort, um, you know, <laughs> for, to help me achieve a dream, I reckon it's pretty awesome. Speed Week is uh, an annual event. It's a track that's graded out and it's nine miles long. It's 30 metres wide and there's timing gear, equipment every, every mile. And then as you um, race down the course, you're racing against the clock or the highest average speed over a mile. We got some practice runs done and the first one I had to abort because he was heading out between the guide posts and, um, and that's where that foot peg pressure is a big thing, how you steer the motorcycle, because if you steer it with the handlebars, you get too big a correction. And then on the record attempt, um, the plan was to call Ben the five miles approaching and that's when he was gonna, he called it, shoot the gap. Get on the gas before the five mile mark and go through to the next um, timing beacon. And I'm like behind him and he's slowing down. Got back and said, what happened, Ben? He goes, oh, brain fade. So what do we do then? Uh, we bought it before. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We go, you're we just, go you're just, you're just swerving a little bit too much. Unfortunately, <clears throat> time didn't allow for us to have another go at the record. So we're preparing to compete at Speed Week 2018. Here we come. You know, for me, it's so personally rewarding 
Um, it gives me a sense of purpose and it's, it gives me a fulfilled, um, rewarding life. Um, you know, Magoo and I, we're out there living our dream. We're racing motorbikes. I mean, how cool is that? See Magoo with a tear in his eye before bed? Now we've done something. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we're hard bastards, but not at this point. The no. solid's flicking it's up in his soul. eyes. Yeah. yeah, we're confident we're going to get this record, but it's not about the record. That's just, you know, that's a bonus.